I am a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed and treated in 2009. It took me about two months to realize that this lump was not going away, and that's, of course, what brought me into this whole new journey of my life now. In 2011, January 4th, I was diagnosed with glioblastoma. That's pretty much the day everything changed, and I'm still fighting it every day. I think like many who work here, there was a personal experience that led me both to nursing and then eventually to cancer care. Both of my parents had cancer. One was treated in an academic institution and the other in a community oncology practice. And so through that experience, I really realized that this is where my calling was. You know, as a, a community oncology center, we're able to give a lot of one-on-one -on -one care. In any setting, when someone's diagnosed with cancer, they and their family are completely overwhelmed. When they come in, they don't know what to expect. They don't know what their treatment will be. Will they lose their hair? Are they going to feel sick? And they're concerned about their own life expectancy as well. And so we pride ourselves on being able to take the time and sort through all of those issues with our patients. We treat them not only for their cancer, but for all of the things that go along with that. Working in the community oncology setting allows the physician to have a lot more hands-on interaction with the patients. Doctors take a lot of pride in a community oncology practice, and they want to make sure that their patients are receiving the best possible care. In community oncology care, the patients develop emotional and physical support from the doctors, from the staff, and that makes an enormous impact on not only quality of life, but I think survival. Our patients and their families become our family, and we have deep commitment to the care that we provide to them. We celebrate their successes and we mourn their losses, and I think there, there really is a difference. I realized I had to tell my family that I had an incurable stage four cancer, but we had a game plan, and I had a great partner, and we were going to, you know, this was okay. We were going to figure this out. It wasn't a death threat anymore. It was just going to be a new chapter. Everybody down at uh, Florida Cancer Specialist knows us. You know, they're in this fight with me. And I'm important to them, and they're important to me. And it's just, it's comforting. It's, it's good to know that they're there. And it's good to know that, uh, that I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm a number. You know, I'm Steve. And I'm always going to be Steve. And to them, I'm Steve. As a provider, it's very rewarding. There's not a person that works in this building that hasn't been tremendously affected by the care we've provided for a patient or the relationships that we've established in seeing someone through their cancer care treatment. So that strengthens our commitment to this field, it strengthens our commitment to this place, and it strengthens our commitment to our patients. My name is Judy Weiner. Natasha Clinton. I'm Jennifer Ewing. My name is Dr. Michael Diaz. I am Dorothy Fields. I'm Steve Smith director of nursing and an advanced practice provider. I'm an oncology nurse practitioner. I am a stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer survivor. I'm a five-year glioblastoma brain tumor survivor. And I am community oncology. 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 And I'm community oncology.